A coronavirus vaccine conceptually is not a very difficult thing to do. The best way to prevent the spread of a viral infection is to have a vaccine. Normal vaccine development takes several years. Scientists around the world are in a race against time, trying to develop a vaccine. We are fighting an outbreak right now. As the novel coronavirus continues to spread around the globe and the death toll mounts, scientists in Germany, like countless others around the world, are in a race against time, trying to develop a vaccine as fast as possible for an illness the scientific world has a lot to learn about. The family of coronaviruses are not new. We've known about them for a very long time. In fact, there's a group of them that have been infecting humans for a very long period of time and about 10 to 30 percent of all the upper respiratory infections are caused by coronaviruses. For humans, it's a novel virus. But when you talk about novel viruses, they're new to the human species because to our knowledge, a human and the human species has never been infected with this particular virus. That's what you mean by new. It's really new to humans. The pressure couldn't be higher, with the number of novel coronavirus cases jumping every day and the global economy taking a beating from the coronavirus's effects. President Trump, at a meeting with drug makers, urged the industry to come up with a vaccine ASAP. We're moving aggressively to accelerate the process of developing a vaccine. A lot of good things are happening, and they're happening very fast. I said, do me a favor, speed it up, speed it up, and they will. The best way to prevent the spread of a viral infection is to have a vaccine that builds up the immunity in someone so that they are protected from the spread of infection. Coronaviruses um, are named because they resemble a crown mm -hmm. with spikes on the surface. This is the spike protein that is on the surface of a coronavirus and it's what allows it to attach to and get into the cells of the respiratory tract. This is the spike protein from the surface of a coronavirus and it sits on the virus like this and it allows the virus to attach to and enter cells. So our lab, based on the three-dimensional coordinates, we're able to, to print a model like this. And this allows people to design maybe antibodies or small molecules that can bind into little cavities and prevent this molecule from binding to the host cell membrane. And so that can be really useful for vaccine development. There are many different groups making vaccines, and there's many different modalities and methods for making vaccines. But almost all of them will contain the spike in some form or in some method because we want to inject the spike into people, let our immune system raise antibodies against it, get them ready to attack and to bind. So for our collaboration with Dr. Barney Graham at the Vaccine Research Center at the National Institutes of Health, uh, his group has produced the same construct that we use to determine the structure and they've used that to immunize mice and start looking at the immune response. You see how it can move here. What we know about this molecule is that it is a better vaccine if you can stabilize it. We know that this is the receptor binding domain, and we know that there's antibodies that can bind both this knob and this part, the receptor binding domain, that can neutralize the virus. So by giving the entire molecule, we can uh, give the immune system its best chance of making antibodies that cover all the vulnerable spots on this virus. German-American company CureVac, whose CEO has been to the White House to meet President Trump, makes vaccines by essentially embedding the virus's code into human cells to help the body protect itself. Each of these little tubes contains a different construct of the virus's code. Right now, the scientists at the main lab in Germany are trying to find out which one is the safest and most effective to be turned into a vaccine. While they don't want to put a date on it yet, they believe they're getting closer. We are in preparation for a clinical trial. Out of the different constructs, we have to get the best ones into the clinics, and we are in constant discussions with the regulatory authorities. While U.S. health officials acknowledge it will be at least a year before one will be certified, the company says it's working overtime to get it done soon. If you compare normal vaccine development takes several years, 
we are fighting an outbreak right now and therefore regulatory authorities are hands-on and trying to do this within a year's time. So for normal vaccine development, that entire process would take in the 10 to 20 years to go through all the various steps. It's extremely expensive to work with humans. We're trying to do this as fast as we can and optimistically, best case scenario might be a year. More realistically, would be in the 18 to 24 month. The phase one should be in a matter of weeks. That's actually really exciting that we're only two or three months out from the, from the first detection of the virus and we're starting to enroll a phase one clinical trial. Getting that done within a year is almost unheard of as far as the certification of drugs is concerned. But the folks at the company tell us that they've almost never seen this amount of international urgency on the part of governments, on the part of NGOs, and also, of course, on the part of drug companies and labs to try and get a vaccine on the market as fast as possible and as safe as possible. I think it's important to say that whenever you develop a vaccine, there is no such a thing as a sure thing. A coronavirus vaccine conceptually is not a very difficult thing to do. Like with any vaccine development, there's always stumbling blocks that are unanticipated. But I have cautious optimism that we would be able to develop a vaccine against this and other coronaviruses.